Well, guys, it's pushing. So, yeah, we're pushing 10 o'clock now. I've had a little bit of fun today. Uh, ordered this online Friday, it only just arrived today, and I wasn't terribly pleased with the output on it. It would not blow a fly's head off. Simple as that. I was not having it. Quite simple, electric car industry was not happy. Excuse me, I did not want to show that thing. But, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, modifying, and why not? Well, you may notice, well, you may not notice, actually, because you don't know, uh, there is a certain component missing off that board there. Should be something quite juicy there. I will uh, give you a hint. It's roughly in the middle of the screen now. Ish, yay! We had to modify. There is some extra in that. You've got your absolute bog standard little capacitor in there. I can't even get in on the board to <laughs> read what the value is. But uh, Electric Iron just not having it and decided to stuff a bigger capacitor in that in parallel with the output. I don't want to touch that actually. I don't know if that's charged. Let just make sure. Yeah, we discharged. That's good. So, yeah, we decided to put a 2.2 microfarad capacitor into it. These ones are the best if you just remember these ones. Don't try putting a. I can't remember the bloody name of them, dielectric or whatever it was. So, yeah, don't put one of them in because it takes forever to charge it. And the output ain't terribly great. You know, you will kill a battery. Also, this unit used to run. Hang on a minute. Macy's laptop. Sorry, it was on. It's used to run two AA batteries, but I was not happy with the output once again. Even with that big cap, I was not happy. So Electric Arnish decided to put a big, nice, juicy 9 volt on it, and the output is pretty nice now. So we're just gonna hang on. No, no, we're not gonna do a test yet. <sighs> we're gonna show you what else we've done. Now right across the output on that, it's a tiny little resistor. It's gone. There was a tiny little resistor. There is now no resistor, no bleed resistor to discharge that capacitor. What do they call it? Bleed. So it's either on. We shall quickly test the output. I would actually like to put a, a multimeter across that, but I don't know what it would do. So let's go for this, see what happens. That weren't too bad. i admit, I've had better. I've not bloody bought enough that now, so I can't test it properly. Bear with me, guys, while I try not to get electrocuted. Bloody hell, I'll try and do this with a screwdriver, not touch the output, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah. <laughs> it did actually blow a fly in half earlier. I was quite impressed. So if you do want to modify these, please be careful. It's not for everyone. I did touch this earlier for the fun because I wanted to see what it was like. I did get a bit of a burn on my finger. I can't quite see it at the minute. It's quite nice. I enjoyed it anyway. Uh, let's get in on that cap. And that's a nice toy job that was. The soldering on this was absolutely shocking. Those of you on my Facebook, yeah, you've seen the output on that bottom right one and the top left. It was disgusting, man. There was hardly any solder on it. The wires were literally hanging on by a thread. Not anymore. So guys, if you want to modify these, 12 watt battery and 2.2 microfarad capacitor. But you want to go for, let me get in on a couple of these. There's one there. You want to go for them at the top. What's the other ones? Ah, oh, they're hiding. Ah, oh, there you go. Perfect. 
perfect man. Mm, not much on that board. So guys, I will test this one tomorrow. We'll get a couple of spiders or something on it. And see what it can do. But I do know it kills the flies. Literally in half. It blows me in half. So be safe. Please be careful modifying these. And whatever you do, for God's sake, short these things out. Either way you can, even across that, before you do any work on it. See you in the next one.